Some say it'll be strange at first. Resident Jodley Dodley says she'll certainly shop there again. But it'll be just for do what I need to and get the hell out. But Sadia Ahmed, the radio host who survived the terrorist attack, just wants to see the inside of the mall to remember. I will go back once, just for closure. But I would never step into that mall again to have a good time, never. In Nairobi, I'm Dan Bobkoff for Marketplace. And there's news in the last few minutes that the U.S. Supreme Court has agreed to hear a case about how public sector labor unions charge fees. Some workers say they have a free speech right under the First Amendment not to support efforts by a union with which they don't agree. Labor says these workers benefit when the union secures a better contract, so they should pay like everyone else. Our producers are Justin Hogue, Katie Long, and Meg Kramer. In New York, I'm David Brancaccio with the Marketplace Morning Report. From APM, American Public Media. This is KCFR FM Denver and KCFC AM Boulder on HD at 90.1 FM and online at cprnews.org. In depth news from Colorado Public Radio. You're listening to Colorado Public Radio News, bringing you morning edition on the way to work and all things considered on the way home every day. Colorado Public Radio News on 90.1 FM in Denver and online at cpr.org. At CPR News, when we're looking for sources, one of the places we turn is our Public Insight Network. More than 6,000 people like you have joined and told us about themselves. So when we need to find doctors, teachers, people who served on juries or who were affected by wildfires, we look in this giant online Rolodex. We'd love to find you there to help us cover the news. You can sign up for the Public Insight Network at cprnews.org. And thanks. Good morning. It's deadline day for Greece. The debt is due and the country is out of cash. Greece could drop the euro and turn back to its old currency, the drachma. 